Hello, Cancer Nation. Welcome to your seven-day forecast with Angelic Ascensions. I hope all is genuinely well. This may be a reading that may resonate with you if you happen to have cancer in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus dominant in your natal chart. If you're cross-watching for a Cancerian, you might find some information in this reading that may be a match to your story. There may be things, Cancer, that you hear in this reading that may not resonate, and then there guarantee will be some things to do. Um, take in what does resonate disregard the rest. For some of you, I'm not speaking to you at all. It's not your reading. I always encourage you to have the discretion and this discernment and the open-mindedness enough to kind of know the difference. Please don't make any rash decisions based on a general reading. Now, if you would like a reading based on your own personal energy, you can always book a reading on my website, which happens to be angelicascensionstarot.com. Lastly, Cancer Nation and Cross Watchers, we're going to go over some topics that are delicate. We always do. This is not your preference. Or if a very straightforward, blunt reader is not your preference, go ahead and take this opportunity to click off this reading. Otherwise, Cancer Nation, let's get it. Let's jump right in. See what might be going on for you over the next seven days. Cancer Nation. As soon as I pick up the deck, the star. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, sun, moon, or rising. Some of you might be an Aquarius, Venus. Let's see what's going on. Awkward. Cancers. This is what you're dealing with an air sign. We got Sagittarius on the table. Got a situation where some of you might be stuck in the past. You might be going to a nostalgic place. You might be um, maybe dealing with some things, maybe pertaining to childhood. Possibly be going down memory lane. Somebody from your past could possibly be popping up, possibly in Aries. Yeah, you might be having some childhood memories definitely connected to... Um, Parenting, upbringing, maybe there's a particular parent that's around you right about now, especially if they passed away. There's definitely a Leo doing cancer. Of course, Leo is, is your cusp by Leo. Um, but just like with Virgo, cancer, Leo always shows up in the cancer reading. There's a child that's highlighted in your situation. You have some issues with your money. In a legal situation that you're worried about. It looks like you're being hindered in some sort of way. Are you doing this to someone? Cancer or cross watcher? There's an air sign. It definitely looks like you're looking at them. Cancer, you might have air. <laughs> Earth. Yes, air. We're going to go with that. Spirit guys wanted me to say air. But yeah, you might have Earth in your chart as well. But it definitely feels like there's an air sign that's in your energy. Let's see what this energy. Let's see what this air sign is doing. Um, actually, bear with me, Cancer. Let's set up your reading. Let's see what's going on in this situation. It's like you're spending some time apart from someone currently. It could be this King of Cups for some of you, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Self-assurance, independent self. Okay. This self-assurance thing, I think this has something to do with a child that's in your energy. You might have somebody that's younger in your energy that kind of needs a boost of self-confidence, unless this is your inner child. Since we're talking about childhood, and I did mention that, maybe you just need assurance to know that you're on the right path and that you're making the right decisions, unless this is somebody around you possibly. Somebody's definitely got their eye on you, um, Cancer or Cross Watcher. Yeah, see, somebody is definitely coming to you to look for guidance. You're looking for guidance for some particular situation or someone around you is. You definitely have somebody coming back. I for sure feel like you're having some issues at work. Definitely for sure feel like there's a situation where somebody... Somebody is like um, projecting their misery onto you. 
Maybe this is why someone is trying to block something that you're doing. Misery loves company this week, Cancer Nation or Cross Watcher. Okay, like I said, this feels like this is the person that has their eye on you. The lovers, Gemini. Okay, most highlighted signs, the most repeated signs in your reading are going to be Leo. We got the star again, Aquarius. We got the full card and we got the emperor, Aries. Random side note, Cancer, you might be going grocery shopping. Maybe you're a little bit low on um, items at the house right now. So you're definitely escaping from someone that has an issue with self-centeredness. It seems like you're making a break for something, but let's let's take a look at what might be going on in your relationships. Okay, because that seems like that's the most highlighted thing that's going on. Seems like you met somebody a long time ago. Maybe you've spent a long time with someone, cancer or cross watcher. You met them when you were very young. Maybe there was a lot of immaturity involved in a, in a previous relationship, or maybe that's something that's going on right now. Definitely, a Leo. Definitely. It seems like some of you Cancerians, you're going through a separation. You're separating from someone. You're definitely going opposite directions from someone. It seems like you're in a very complicated situation. There's been a little lies that are told some illusions that were brought to the table. And it seems like you're dealing with some uncertainty. For some of you, there's someone that could be returning and they might have a level of uncertainty about how to approach you because it definitely feels like cancer or cross watchers. Somebody is like walking on eggshells to maybe try to come back into a situation to right their wrongs because somebody in this situation may feel that they're dead wrong. If they don't feel that and they don't admit it to you, don't be surprised, Cancer or Cross Watcher. But it could be you. I'm trying to pull a completely different deck, and it tells me something about health, which we're going to take a look at. I think, if anything, this has everything to do with your, your mental health, your peace of mind about something. Got a card scattering. Well, maybe that's you, Cancer. Right about now. Let me talk about that. Okay, I guess one thing at a time, scattering, okay? Maybe this is your thoughts. Maybe your thoughts are kind of all over the place, but definitely before I started your reading, something with my stomach, my stomach just started just having like butterflies just out of nowhere. So I feel that there's something going on with your solar plexus. Definitely something going on with your stomach. Possibly, maybe you have a nervous stomach, cancer or cross watcher. Maybe you have a feeling in the pit of your stomach. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, but maybe the reading will kind of shed light on what that is. You're definitely having some issues. You do. You have mommy issues, daddy issues, cancer or cross watcher. Or you have children that do. Because remember, let's go back to the top of the reading. I was telling you that someone has, there's, there's a child that's highlighted here. You're having a power struggle with somebody. It's like somebody wants power over you, cancer. This seems like this is like thought manipulation. I'm trying to see exactly what's going on. There's definitely a fire sign. Okay. Now we see what's going on. And yes, you do need groceries. Come on, cancer or cross watcher. Starving yourself. You got to go to the store. I don't know. That's for somebody. Anyway, you feel attacked. You do or somebody around you does. I'm I'm trying to understand what's going on, Cancer or Cross Watcher. Did you get into it with somebody? Because whoever you got into it with, it doesn't seem like they're around right now. Like you got into it with somebody and it seems like they just kind of like evaporated off the face of this earth. Especially if this is a Taurus or there's a Taurus involved in this. Okay, so this is the issue. Somebody in your scenario, Cancer or Crosswatcher, they're having to make a decision between you and a decision between someone else. 
For some of you, it seems like you have a work connection with someone. You met somebody through work or school, or you could be, or somebody that is maybe dealing with someone on the side. Maybe they've been they they've grown a level of attraction to somebody at work because it definitely does feel like somebody is saying something. There's some sort of an accusation about something that could be coming up. Something that maybe somebody is seeing the truth about. Maybe somebody needed to have patience to see the truth. But the truth is for sure seen about something. Especially with regard to a child, there may be an adult that sees something way clearer than a child may see. You have a twin flame connection with someone, a soul contract with someone. It seems like something is being restored. There's a message that's coming in Cancer or Crosswatcher. This message is delayed. So in other words, this, th there's chances are this message may not reach you this week or this person may not reach out this week, but they may plan to. They may be thinking about it. Somebody is trying to talk to you about something. Yeah, it just seems like no matter what, Cancer or Crosswatcher, you've bent over backwards for somebody. Like, baby, you've constantly come to someone's rescue even though, like, what I mean, no matter what they put you through, it seems like you still love this person unconditionally. Because whatever this is, it seems like it's bringing you down. Whatever this is that somebody is saying or has said to you is sticking with you. Or vice versa. You said something to somebody, it's been a pure betrayal. Somebody added insult to injury. Somebody betrayed you. They attacked. I hope this is not physical because I'm starting to feel like for some of you cancers or cross watchers, you might be in a very violent, volatile relationship with somebody that just has a really over the top temper. You're the cardinal sign though. It could be you. It's going to be you with a fiery temper, even though you're not a fire sign, but you're definitely cardinal. But I think that there's a reason if you are like zero to 60 in a particular situation, I think it's because somebody might be kind of bad you or provoking you to do this. Maybe. Let me give some more context, Cancer, a cross watcher. Okay. Things have been kind of unsteady financially. I see things kind of leveling out for you. There's a delay with this, but this def definitely, it feels like your money situation for some of you is definitely going to come back into balance. Um, but definitely it feels like somebody is coming back. Somebody wants to spend time with you. They're not going to come in this week. Like I said, they may be kind of just thinking about this. You, on the other hand, you might be kind of replaying events over and over in your head. That might be what's causing you to feel maybe a little bit depressed. Somebody did something. They said something, especially if we're talking about infidelity, this is why you're walking away. A lot of you are walking away from an air sign, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, air. This would be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. You're leaving someone behind. Now, there's definitely some spying in this situation. It may have something to do with um, this person that you're in a relationship with. Now, if I didn't make it clear, and I don't think that I did, some of you are in a third party situation. Somebody is making a decision between you and someone else. They've been creeping behind your back for a while, lying to you the whole time. This is what's been complicating the entire situation. And this is why you're feeling that this is just absolutely necessary to go your separate ways. Maybe you might feel cancer or cross watcher that, this, that maybe there's some other people involved that don't want you with this person that are trying to prevent this whole situation from happening. But you see how there are three people here? Something's going on. But I think that it's more than just this third party situation, which we're going to touch on. Um, because I definitely feel that for some of you, Cancer Nation, you're under spiritual attack. Now, those that know that this wouldn't come as a surprise to you. It would come as a confirmation for some of you because maybe some of you didn't know, but for a majority of you cancers or cross watchers, I think you'd know that this is going on. You're under spiritual attack. This is the person that's spying on you. This is somebody that's trying to hinder or prevent something from happening for you, which I'm going to clarify 
it would have something to do with the high priestess because the high priestess is clarifying it. Like I said, I don't think that for, for a majority of you cancers, this is going on. It, it wouldn't come as a surprise. You would already know this. For some of you, it's the cancer that's doing this, trying to prevent you from being able to progress and move forward. But yeah, for some of you cancers or cross watchers, you got somebody that's in your midst to play mind games with you. You're in a relationship. This is somebody manipulating you and possibly gaslighting you. And this is a toxic situation. So maybe you've reached your breaking point with this situation, Cancers. I think you're letting this go. You're realizing that somebody is out for themselves. They're not really considering you as far as the relationship goes. It just looks like somebody is very self-seeking, very self-serving. Definitely a Virgo in this situation. Definitely a Sagittarius. For some of you, you're on the other side of this, and this is somebody, I did tell you that somebody is making a decision between you and someone else. For some of you, someone has chosen you, Cancer, and this is why someone is coming back. You might have a very strong connection to music when it comes to this person. There might be some songs that you're listening to that bring you back down memory lane and maybe causes you to think of this person, or this is maybe what somebody is um, coming across. Maybe there's something that brings them back in the day. Having to do with you, and this is what causes them to think of you. For others of you, this is a parent-child situation. Maybe you and your kid are not on the best of terms, and it seems like especially something happened, possibly between you and your kid. And I don't know, maybe there's somebody that's coming back to maybe find their way of maybe trying to make things better, possibly. That's what this looks like to me, Cancer, Cross Watcher. After there's been, somebody's been in attack mode, somebody's like been on demon time with it, okay? That's what that looks like to me. But it's, like I said, it seems like no matter what, especially if that's parent child, somebody definitely loves you unconditionally. Maybe you had a child very young and maybe there's a parent that may have felt like they couldn't give the best of themselves. They couldn't give the best that they had. This almost feels like an apology. It almost does, Cancer. Bear with me, please, while I try to figure out what this is. Are they coming to you with an apology? What's going on with the Cancer Nation spirit, guys? Hello, Angel. Hello, Gina. Dolphins 1111. Happy solar return to you as well. Thank you. Connect with your soul family. Oh, wow. Maybe you're just not feeling it. Either this is the case, you're turning somebody down, or this is what somebody is thinking. They feel like maybe after something really intense has gone down between the two of you that you're just going to be like... Nah. So I think somebody's trying to build up the courage. Cancer, a cross watcher to come to you. You are safe. Something is involving somebody's safety, okay? Maybe that's what this legal situation is about. Or maybe somebody doesn't feel emotionally safe to maybe open up again after they've built a safe boundary. Wow. Okay. You do have a legal situation. You do. I was telling you, it almost feels like an apology. Almost. So maybe somebody might come just shy of maybe wanting to apologize, but then they kind of shy away from it. But it definitely feels like you're taking a break from somebody after something got really intense. It just seems like there's somebody that's afraid to approach you, especially if this is a child. They may be kind of nervous to say what's on their mind because they may fear that, that, that an adult may attack them verbally or go out of their way to kind of embarrass them. Somebody has a drinking problem. Maybe this is something that you're fearing. That maybe somebody's just going overboard with their drinking. Possibly even with their spending. You might view somebody as toxic. You are taking a break from them. 
you might sing cancer. You might have, uh, let's say you have a connection with music. You're dealing with someone that you might feel is completely egotistical. Okay, so yeah, it is almost an apology. Somebody's coming to clean up their mess. They're not necessarily coming in to say that they're sorry, but they're going to find a way to, um, I kind of want to say to get you to trust them again or to maybe get on good terms with you after maybe things have been rocky and very unsteady. Shielding you like, nope. I'm going to protect myself from the, the BS. I just think you, you're you like, I don't have time for it. I promise you, if this has something to do with a child, they have a hard time expressing themselves. Like they're at a loss for words. They're kind of choked up when it comes to maybe saying what's on their minds. Here, guys, is this an apology? I don't even know how much this matters to you, Cancer, but we're going to see. I guess it must be if I'm spending this much time on it. I think you want to feel appreciated. Especially if this is somebody that you're in love with. Cancer, a cross watcher that you've been in a relationship with. It could even be whatever relationship. Somebody wants to feel appreciated. Oh, you already know. So you might already know that this person is going to come back. Or you might already know that this person is not the apologetic type. Cancer, a cross watcher. There's something that you already know about. If it's infidelity, I think you already know. Put this for Gemini not that long ago. You are dealing with a Gemini. Like I said, some of you, this person is not going to be coming through this week. It might require a little bit of patience for this maybe to, to um, play out. Somebody definitely feels alone. Somebody's struggling with some um, self-esteem issues. Yep, I did tell you. They may not come through, but they're definitely thinking about it. But I promise you what somebody is dwelling on is what somebody said, the way that something made them feel. They're constantly thinking about this. No, I'll put it this way. If it's an apology that you're looking for, I mean, I've searched through these cards so many times already, and it's not saying that there's an apology. So I don't think you're necessarily getting an apology, but I definitely feel like you're shifting your focus from this entire situation and you're deciding to take care of yourself. If not, then it feels like that's the advice in the situation is to focus on you and to possibly take a break from a situation that you feel is absolutely toxic and to shift your focus to something else. Because that's what that feels like. That's just the natural progression of things is that you're kind of um, maybe deciding to focus on your finances. To focus on yourself in some other ways. It seems like there's some other things that are more important to you than maybe this situation right now. Because it does not feel that in some relationship in your life that you feel nurtured. You obviously don't. Not by the looks of it. Or like I said, this is a if it's not a relationship out like where somebody is treating you this way, someone may feel that you're doing this cancer, but this could definitely be your relationship with yourself. You may have felt on some level cancer or cross watcher that you've starved yourself, right? Since we're talking about self-care and you bending over backwards for other people, putting other people first. Is there possibly something where you're betraying yourself? <clears throat> so in some sort of way, there's some sort of, like I said, something has shifted for you. Something is absolutely necessary. It's necessary for you to like separate yourself from a particular situation so that you can shift your focus to something else. Maybe in particular a talent that you have, because it looks like you have a talent that may be monetized or you could possibly be deciding to go in that direction. And maybe you're trying to build up the courage to develop a particular talent of yours. Let's put a conclusion on this. Some of you, you've had an absentee parent or you're raising a child with some and maybe you're doing so on your own without the input of a parental figure. 
and you were raised by a single parent, this sort of thing, somebody's coming back. Now, what you're coming to see about a situation, if you haven't seen it clearly, but you've had a feeling, maybe you haven't been able to put your finger on it, you haven't found tangible proof about some sort of infidelity, um, you're definitely seeing it. For some of you, you have an enemy cancer or cross watcher. Um, but let's make it clear, you do. And um, maybe you've just been kind of wondering, is it this person? Is it that person? Well, they're going to make it abundantly clear to you what their intentions are. Um, cancer, a cross watcher. Like I said, somebody might be trying to block you in some sort of way, and it would have something to do with the high priestess. Um, and it looks like somebody else is working with them. Cancer, a cross watcher. Spirit guides explain to me what this is that I'm seeing. Somebody's trying to hinder your progress in some sort of way. You got a move coming up, Cancer. You're very enlightened, by the way. Some of you Cancerians, or this is somebody looking at you. There's the devil. The devil is looking down at the high priestess. Didn't I say somebody's on demon time? You got the devil twice. The devil is busy. I don't necessarily mean that in a religious sense. I mean, take it however it resonates for you. I mean, I, I, I made it very clear to you already that you have an enemy. I just see so many different things in your reading. I'm not even sure where to take this. I don't know what somebody's issue is, but I guess we're going to find out. Yeah, I want all of these. <sighs> somebody's trying to overcomplicate something for you. It's, it's like somebody's trying to aggravate the heck out of you. Like they want you to stop doing whatever you, we talked about that you already know. You would already know about this. Somebody's trying to block or hinder something that you have going on. I just don't understand why. Maybe it's not for me to understand, but uh, somebody's doing something against you. And that's just me. The, the curiosity in me always wants to know why. Why does somebody want to block or hinder somebody? This would be somebody that you work with very likely, or this is possibly somebody that has spotted you because definitely somebody's fixated on you. I told you at the top of the reading, you have a spy. Yes, you're definitely expanding on your journey. Somebody doesn't like that. And it definitely looks like someone is going out of their way to try to block or hinder something that you do. Some of you, you're herbalists, you're faith healers, you're witch doctors. You have a particular, it doesn't have to be that you have a spiritual talent. Your talent could definitely be music. But for some of you, I think that that's where the issue lies, especially if you like you do something on social media. Spirit guys, what is this? Why is the devil so present? And why is somebody spying so much? It's like somebody is looking into you. Like they want to know. I say you're an herbalist. You do something such as this. Definitely looking into your shadow. What's going on? The Thank you. You're a healer in your own way. Even if, like I said, you don't do something in a spiritual sense, like your 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 forte, your your gift is not a um, that of being a healer. You've got something in particular. There's a particular mission that you're here to accomplish, and it just feels that someone wants to block what it is that you are doing. Why though? Limitless possibility. 
Okay, you are spreading your wings. Okay, you definitely, something about your gift is definitely expanding. And wow, I'm going to say it while I see it. Reconciliations. You're reconciling with more than one person. I almost want to say that you're being watched. You see, I don't know if you can see this clearly, but it definitely feels like you feel awkward. Some of you cancers, I don't know, maybe around your neighborhood, maybe with your neighbors. You feel watched in some sort of way. I, I promise you this. It sounds weird even with me just saying these things out loud. So I'm pretty sure that this might sound odd for those that, that this doesn't resonate with. That's how you know it's not your reading. Family, you got an issue with family. members. Yeah, maybe you are. You feel betrayed by family or somebody that you've developed a family with. Who are these people? Are these your neighbors? Help me understand this here, guys, because I don't understand. What are these people trying to accomplish? And why are they being so weird? Okay. I promised myself that I was not going to spend all this time trying to figure all this stuff out. Um, trying to crack the code to every little thing that's going on in the reading. Stars. We talked about an Aquarius. You've got a lot of stars in your reading, by the way. And you are, some of you are definitely being harassed. You see how I said, you have these stars here, and then you got the word stars here. Some of you are definitely dealing with an Aquarius. You do astrology. You're definitely wise. It looks like somebody wants you to be destitute down on your luck. Some of you could possibly be worried about your home situation. See how she's looking at her house. You're worried about your home situation. You're worried about time. Maybe it's difficult for you to manage your time. Maybe you're late on some things, especially when it comes to your finances, because it definitely feels like in that regard, you're going through some sort of an issue, a financial one. You had a move that's on the horizon for you. Some of you cancers could be moving, coming up. It seems like that's something that you're kind of paranoid and you're worried about. Maybe that, that time issue has something to do with your home. Owl could be relevant in your situation. I usually get that for Aquarius and Gemini. Something's definitely going on. Okay. So I was trying to figure out who these weirdos are just, just kind of watching because it looks like either you just, or you're somebody that's just very self-conscious. You feel gossiped about. You feel like you're at the center of attention? Yes, there's definitely somebody that's kind of like watching your every move. But for sure, you got somebody that's trying to send you the evil eye. But why are these people trying to block you? You got some attacks coming in from different angles, different directions. It's like you always, it seems like cancer or crosswatcher, you're not even sure which direction. You feel attacked. At, for what reason, though? There's an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus that cannot stand you. And this is somebody that's been hexing you for a while. And this is where I kind of draw the line, and I don't really um, give too much attention to this sort of thing, but I'm going to mention it. You got the devil twice. I was telling you the devil is busy, especially when this comes to your calling or it comes to your career. There's a lot of envy when it comes to this situation. Somebody envies your knowledge because it seems like whatever you do, cancer or cross watcher, you're very knowledgeable or it's the person that you're watching 
that is this and you they you perceive this person this way somebody might be envious of the money that you make cancer or cross watcher somebody might be under the impression that maybe you like you, you make a lot of money or whatever it just seems like there's someone maybe more than one person maybe maybe at least five people that may have an issue with you so this feels like your spirit guides are really urging you to cleanse this energy off of you. Cancer, a cross watcher, because it seems like somebody really has their eye on you. You do do tarot. Either you do read tarot, especially online. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you got that going on in the background. But regardless of that, like I said, I don't really want to feed the BS too much. But, yeah, we talked about your shadow. So it definitely feels like you're going to be diving into that. Maybe you feel like there was a parent that dropped the ball. Yeah. Maybe they weren't there for you the way that you needed them to be. And it definitely feels like you're doing a deep dive into that. And maybe you're making you're making a strong determination in your mind that you're going to be a better leader than maybe someone else was in your life. Maybe a particular mentor it doesn't have to be somebody that you were raised by. Or this is like I mentioned, somebody that you are raising kids with. Forgive someone. Not even a part of this deck. I don't believe in coincidences. So maybe while you're combing through these past issues, cancer or cross watcher, you're deciding to forgive somebody, letting somebody go, let, letting the energy of something that's just been so heavy on your mind go. You're forgiving someone, you're letting this go. Goodness, cancer, my mind is spinning. There's so many different things that are going on in your reading. It definitely feels like you're able to see spirits, especially somebody that passed away. It may be the anniversary of somebody's death. You might be somebody that just is able to connect with spirits very easily. Looks like that to me. Like on several different levels. Yeah, random. You might have a lot of bugs around you, especially spider webs. But someone is definitely not just trying to come after you. It seems like somebody's trying to come after a <laughs> child. Maybe that's what's going on with this legal situation. Okay. Okay, so Cancer, it looks like somebody thinks that they have you figured out. Oh, it seems like the person is really hating. On. Okay, so I, I was telling you someone at work. Some of you, you're in competition for the person that you're dating. Okay, what I mean by that is that you are seeing somebody at work. Somebody else likes the person that you're dating. And now they see you as competition, this very toxic individual. It seems like they're trying to, for some of you, they're seeing you as competition and they're trying to knock you off. For others of you, this is not that. It's that you, um, this is somebody that you work with. They see you leveling up in some sort of way, or like I said, either you work online. Somebody sees the level up and they're trying to block something that you're doing, but they're doing so with other people. They're having other people join forces to try to block something that you're doing to try to stop you or prevent something that you're doing. It seems like somebody sees your potential for growth cancer or cross watcher. And so they're going out of their way to kind of um, spy on you, watch you and kind of um, figure out a way to prevent something from happening for you. I don't know. But that's just background situations. It's relevant, but it's not. It's relevant because your guys want you to be aware of what's going on in your surroundings, but they're not wanting you to fixate on it. 
Meanwhile, you do have a level up when it comes to that. You do have some good things coming in. I mentioned to you, you've got some opportunities that are coming in, especially when it comes to work. But like I said, in the background, you've got someone trying to prevent something that you're doing. It just cooperation instead of competition. Somebody, again, <laughs> confirmation of what I just said. Somebody has made up in their mind. It's a fabricated thing that they've made up that you're trying to compete with them. So rather than working with you, it seems like somebody is working against you in some sort of way. When it comes to your financial situation, because it does feel like Cancer or Crosswatcher, you've had some financial burdens. For some of you, it is due to this spell work or this hindrance that someone is trying to block your money. Somebody definitely has their eye on the money that you make. They think that you make this or that Cancer or Crosswatcher. And it seems like somebody's trying to block whatever it is that you're doing. Regardless of that, it seems like your guys are trying to get you to shift your mindset when it comes to your financial situation. These are your neighbors. Just to go back. Okay. Bear with me because I got to see it while I say it rather than waiting till I... Um, I'll sometimes miss it and I didn't say it at the time, but yeah, you got something going on with your neighbors. Is there something going on though? Or are you, because I definitely talked to, talk to you about a legal situation. What's going on with the neighbors? Why are the neighbors so nosy? Random side note, cancers or cross watchers, you might be feeling under the weather. You might have a sore throat this week. Maybe there's some belly fat, this kind of stubborn cancer or cross watcher. Maybe you're trying to get rid of it. What's going on with these neighbors, though? I don't think that you like them, okay? And as far as a legal situation is concerned, this feels like this is a situation where um, <laughs> I think you feel uncomfortable around these people, around somebody. Okay, if it's not your neighbors, then it's definitely around certain family members. I don't know, cancer. but. That's kind of what I'm seeing. You might be having some back pain too. This legal situation does have something to do with violence. This is what I mean. For some of you, it's not physical violence. Some of you, it, it, you, you feel like a friend or a family member has attacked you in some sort of way. No, 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 no. You got some weird, I'm trying to tell, you see how these eyes are looking? Somebody's definitely fixated on you. Maybe you feel that it's your neighbors, but um, you got a restraining order. Or there's just somebody that you wish would just stay out of your energy, yet they keep popping up. If you do have a court situation, Cancers, I think I already see this. Some of you are worried about jail time, especially if this is like somebody physically put their hands on you. Maybe you didn't. Maybe it didn't happen with you. Maybe you witnessed it or maybe your neighbors overheard something. Maybe that's why they're so nosy. But it definitely feels like there's a lot of loudness. Something is grabbing the attention of other people. You see how this person's mouth is just wide open. Like somebody is just loud. And uh, it caught the attention of somebody that's around you. Somebody's worried about going to jail. And it seems like for some of you, you have a pending court situation. Some of you, the court situation doesn't have anything to do with a, legal, like a, a, a physical altercation with someone. For some of you, this is your mental state. You're shackled to the past. Whatever you're thinking about, it's like that's all you can think about. But for others of you, this feels like, the, come on. If there was not something physical that happened, you got the, she's holding the knife here. Restraining order.
especially if this is a complicated relationship with family or whomever this is. There's some, but they're coming back to try to mend a bridge with you, though. I told you reconciliations. Now it says possibility for a union. Somebody is definitely coming to try to make up with you. Oh, this legal situation may have something to do with a contract. You've reached some sort of an obstacle. Okay, when it comes to a legal situation, cancer or cross watcher, you might have a, a legal situation to kind of um, find a way to balance. I'm going to say it while I see it. I'm trying to tell you somebody's watching. Stranger. You have strangers watching you? Especially online. Because it seems like that's where this is. Regardless, okay? For some of you Cancerians, you've reached some sort of an obstacle. Luck and right timing. We talked about that at the top of the reading. Something connected to time. Time management. This kind of gives me that vibe that maybe time is money for you. But I think that you have a financial situation to take care of. It may be connected to a court situation. Maybe this is, I don't know, an eviction. Some sort of bill that maybe you're having to take care of. Seems like you are overspending though, but luck and right timing. Something may actually play out well. For, for some of you, it looks like something in your life is delayed and you're just really fixated, obviously, on time, on the timing of a particular situation, luck and right timing. Something happens when it is supposed to, Cancer or Cross Watcher. There's some sort of debt that you have and this is the obstacle to getting what it is that you need. Luck and right timing, fortune's wheel. Something may end up playing out well for you. For some of you Cancerians or some of you cross watchers, attracting, not chasing. It seems like you've been chasing the dollar. You've been kind of chasing paper and maybe you feel stuck having to do with this. Or like I said, you feel hindered. Either this is a person or people that are hindering you or this is a circumstance. But it definitely, I'm going to repeat it again, there's somebody that's in your energy that you wish would stay the F away. I think it's more than one person. For some of you, this may be um, uh, a group of individuals just kind of crowding. We talked about strangers and curiosity. Let's talk about it. If you're online, you might be developing a following, yes? But it definitely feels like there are people that are curious. Some of them, they're curious for good reasons, yeah? The watchers, strangers are coming through and they're watching whatever you're watching or whatever it is that you're doing. But I think that um, not all of these people are doing so for good reasons. Especially if this is the competition, it seems like somebody is trying to starve you out to try to get you to quit. Yeah. Come on with it. But it seems like you're fixated on it. But this feels like this has been ongoing for a while anyway. But you could possibly be feeding into it. It is. It has everything to do with jealousy. That's what this whole evil eye situation is about. <laughs> For some of you, it just varies. Some of you, it's your family members that are kind of hateful. Some of you, it's the people that you live around. But a lot for a lot of you, it's whatever it is that you're thinking about. Whatever you're thinking about is hindering you. And you could be your own worst enemy. You could be standing in your own way. You could be the one that could be preventing yourself from moving forward. It could have everything to do with your shadow. You could be contributing to this um, for some of you cancers or cross watchers. 
that's for somebody. But it seems like it's time to break up with poverty because for some of you Cancerians, that's been the issue for the longest time. Feeling like you just don't have enough or whatever, because it seems like this has been ongoing for a minute. Yeah. Regarding your enemies, something is going to be their own downfall. Your spirit guides are taking care of this. But it just depends. Like I said, let me make this clear. It depends on what side of karma that somebody is on because it definitely feels that there's somebody that's going out of their way to prevent or hinder someone, yet they're still under the impression that, there's, that, that luck is on their side or that karma is on their side and it's really not the case. There's an error in thinking when it comes to that. You have something here to do with drinking and driving, okay? Because it definitely looks like there's a lot of liquor involved in a particular situation. The cops are involved. Somebody pouring it up. You definitely have somebody watching you. For some of you Cancerians, maybe some of you feel heavily judged, heavily scrutinized by maybe some people um, that are in your energy. And yeah, maybe that's why you're feeling self-conscious or whatever. I don't know. I think I could go on and on, Cancer, um, about what's going on in your reading. But um, let's see. Spirit guys, is there anything else that Cancer needs to know? Your body might demand a lot of rest, Cancer, a cross watcher. Seems like you're up at all hours of the night kind of thinking about everything. Second guessing your decisions. We talked about that at the top of the reading card. This says self assurance. You're going the right direction. That's what I mean. If some of you are not tarot readers, you do some sort of divination. You might that might be what brings you to tarot to maybe figure some things out. Am I doing the right things? Am I going the right direction? Yeah. Are you traversing the obstacles that are in front of you? Definitely some people, someone may feel that you have a wall up cancer or cross watcher, but naturally you would be if somebody attacked you. I don't know. But yeah, if you do not have the legal situation, somebody around you does. A friend, somebody that you're in a third party with or whatever. Um, but you definitely have somebody doing voodoo on you for some of you, not all of you. Please hear me clearly, not all of you. Some of you do. And your guides are saying that there is no need to worry about this. So don't fixate on it. Be aware of what's going on in your situation. This card says, forgive someone, let go. Something may require you to let go. Like I said, it seems like your spirit guides are tapping on your shoulder to really pay attention to your shadow and do some shadow work this week definitely feels like you're wisening up when it comes to you yourself spiritually this card is talking about matrix and this feels like this has everything to do with the world and certain illusions and i see this card that says beyond illusions it seems like this world has created certain illusions or maybe in your mind you've had certain illusions certain ideals about certain situations. And it seems like you're breaking away from these mindsets and you're starting to maybe think for yourself and not really, you know what I mean? Go along with what everyone, uh, the mainstream way of thinking, gestation period. Some of you may be pregnant. There could be a pregnancy around you. And it seems like there's a waiting period. Yes. We talked about luck and right timing. You might have to wait for something, maybe cancer or cross watcher. Maybe all you can do is wait in a particular situation, especially if this has something to do with a living situation, something connected to your home. You might be kind of cleaning up your house this week, cancer or cross watcher, maybe getting some things organized, but it definitely feels that there are, uh, there are certain doors that are closing for you. Something may be coming to a close. Something may be coming to a completion because there's something else better for you. If you're waiting for somebody to take accountability for something, they might halfway do it, Cancer. They might halfway. They might give you like a halfway apology. I think a half-ass apology, but I don't think it really changes anything. Definitely, it feels like there are certain habits that you've gravitated to, especially during this period of time. Especially, like I said, it's your money. 
time after time, you're overspending. So I think that there's something, that's what I feel that you're encountering. Are there ways that you are betraying yourself and getting yourself in certain situations that are a hindrance to your own self? Anything else, spirit guys, for the Cancer Nation? Cancer and the cross watchers. Anything else? I feel like I spent all this time supposed to be doing the second sign. Coming together, I promise you. Somebody wants to build a bridge with you. They burned their bridges. They're trying to fix it. Somebody's definitely coming back around you. Please clarify the devil cards here, guys. Why is the devil here twice? Somebody's coming back, but are they coming back for the right reasons? Oh, to clarify. Okay, there's a few things. I think that there is somebody that you have had friction with. You had your share of arguments with this person. There may be something that may be coming up, cancer or cross watcher, where somebody might just be really going out of their way to irritate you. To have you in a state of vexation where you're just kind of like fixed on it, mentally just irritated by the situation. There's something here that could possibly be avoided. You know what I mean? Because it just seems like somebody is just going out of their way to irritate you. You guys are saying, choose your battles. Is it really worth it to you to participate in the, in, in, in the childishness and the shenanigans that somebody is bringing to the table? So if it, this doesn't have anything to do with your relationship with a child, it may have everything to do with childishness on the part of somebody that's around you. Or this could be you kind of going back and forth with this person. And maybe in hindsight, as you kind of look at your shadow, you're like that was really petty. It was really childish. And maybe this week, that's what somebody's operating out of, the shadow. Maybe this is somebody that's just, um, they may have an entity that's kind of operating through them this week. That sort of thing. Um, anyway. When it comes to your money, joy and stability. I was telling you that there may be a turnaround when it comes to your financial situation. For a lot of you, this has something to do with the way that you're spending. So this could be you possibly making some sort of change and you might get back to a place where you feel stable, but it definitely feels like your guys are saying accountability is necessary. So in some area of your life, you may be looking at yourself. How am I blocking myself? How am I making myself the victim? You know, because for some of you cancers or cross watcher, it could be you. You could be pulling the victim card in a particular situation. You could be playing that card. Maybe, or maybe it's somebody around you. Who knows? But it definitely feels like your guys are saying, think about it. Think about it. Maybe there's something that you're not seeing clearly, but you could possibly be seeing something in a different light this week, Cancer or Cross Watcher. The advice for the Cancer Nation and their Cross Watchers. I'm going to need to plug in in a minute. Advice, Holy Spirit, for the Cancers. Especially when it comes to this betrayal, Spirit Guides. Okay, we're going to talk again about this timing situation. We talked about that earlier, gestation period. There's something that you're needing to wait for. You're concerned about time. This is not the divine right time to take action. Please be patient. The opportune moment is approaching. There is something, Cancer, that you're especially when it comes to making a decision. You may need to make a decision about something. If this is not you kind of waiting for outside parties to make a decision about something, like the court, then this feels like this is you. You're having to make a decision. You're not sure if you should move forward on something. You're questioning the timing of something or whether or not you should close the door on something. Or whether or not you should answer somebody's phone call because trust somebody's going to possibly be calling you this week, trying to get in touch with you. 
If not this week, then coming up soon. But anyway, it's not time to take action. Your spirit guides are definitely going to be giving you the green light when it comes to executing a plan, possibly coming up with an exit strategy, whatever this happens to be for you. Something is not time, but it's definitely approaching. What is this with timing? Especially if this has something to do with a Gemini. Get your power back. You've forgotten who you are. You're a divine, you are a child of the divine, so take back your power. This is what I mean by the whole thing about this, all these shenanigans that are going on in the background. You might be kind of feeding into this. This might be how you're kind of giving away your power. Or you're feeding whatever this happens to be. It may be time to take back your power. This seems like you've given it away. I did say you might be bending over backwards, possibly for the wrong people. Take back your power, Cancer. Okay, don't give up on love. A relationship you cherish can be healed. Allow me to clear away for allow me to clear the way for forgiveness so that love can thrive again. Okay. I think this has everything to do with platonic love or just in general, okay? <laughs> it could definitely be a relationship with yourself. Your relationship with yourself can be healed. You can give forgiveness to yourself because this could even have been you. You may be looking back on a situation and you might regret the way that maybe you handled a particular situation. Like, wow, I should have made a, a, a different decision. I made a snap decision or I was pissed off. So I did this or I said that it could be you. But anyway, um, especially if this is a parent child relationship or this is just in general, maybe you have become a bit cynical when it comes to love. You guys are saying, don't give up. It seems like the right person will come along, but it seems like there may be something that spirit is pointing to you about your shadow. They want you to make progress with something possibly. So it seems like they're trying to say, spend some time on you right now, especially with this card that says self-love. Make a decision. Are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another in this situation? Accept divine guidance pointing you to your own joy. You deserve it. Divine guidance is coming through. So if there's something that you're confused about, it seems like something is coming together. This could even be a plan that you have about something. You might feel that something is off or that something is just taking too long. I think that in the end, cancer or cross watcher, something is going to come together for you. Even though you might feel that something is just kind of a miss or it's lost. That Cancer Nation, this concludes your set. Seven day forecast with angelic ascensions. If you would like to book a personal with me, you can head over to my website, which happens to be angelicascensionstarot.com. Thank you, Cancer Nation, for deciding to tune in this week. Have a blessed, beautiful, and productive week. I'll see y'all in the next one. Stay tuned for the paid live if you have a particular question. Um, and you like a reading with me on YouTube live, I will be doing that next. All right. See y'all in the next one. Peace out, Cancer Nation.